Hey, what is going on guys? Starters Tech Tips. Welcome to another video on my channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Uh, this company, Mini Tool, reached out to me. They wanted me to take a look at their program. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going in this. I'm going in this as you guys are. I've never seen this program. I've never used it. I figured that would be the best way to learn it. We are going to take a look at the free version along with the demo that you can see on the desktop here. Uh, we're also going to be taking a look at the paid version so you guys can check both out. So let's go ahead and get it installed. Yeah, so first off, no, don't. I'm not saying this program's junk this mini tool system booster, but Windows will do it automatically. You don't need a system booster. These are all, any program that you download from the internet that tells you that they can increase system performance is fake. That's just from my experience, especially with my experience in IT. So just keep that in mind. So basically what this program is, is it's a partition wizard. It allows you to partition drives without actually going into Windows and doing it. Um, like if you to get a thumbstick, you could do it that way. Obviously I'm not doing that. I just have, we just were booted into Windows and we're checking it out. Uh, right off the bat, the UI looks pretty good. I've got disk one, which is my game drive, and then disk two, which is my Windows drive. Uh, yeah, you can see right here, OS is gonna be the NTFS drive. We've got migrate OS to SSD HD wizard, copy partition wizard, copy disk wizard, partition recovery wizard, copy disk, convert GPT disk to MBR disk. This is important if you want to, because uh, GPT is the newer uh, right, booting option, I guess you could say. It's hard to explain. It's like GPT is a lot newer than MBR is. Uh, MBR is like master boot record. It's a lot older than GPT is. I don't really know 100% how to explain it. All I know is GPT is what you want if you have Windows 11. If you have Windows 7 below, you want MBR. Uh, clean disk, you can wipe, delete all partitions, align. You've got align all partitions, surface test, partition recovery disk properties and data recovery. The data recovery we might try. Um, I can like just go on there and delete a file and see what we find. See if it actually works or not. I like how it gives you all the information you need. You've got partition, capacity, used, unused, file system type, and status. It's it's a little different from programs I've used before, but I, I do like the UI. I think it's pretty good. Uh, let's find the settings. Is there settings? Uh, there's font settings, enter license key, checking for update, contact us, debug, about, so this is going to be 12.8 uh, at the time of the recording of this video. This is the video, the uh, copy we're looking at, sorry. I don't really know how else to, like, we got disk benchmark, so we could benchmark a disk. Let me go ahead and plug in a drive, and we'll uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can partition it. So I just plugged in a drive, and as you can see right off the bat, it's already updating. I don't have to click refresh or anything. That is a really nice feature. So if we look, you got my salt state here. I do have some data on here. As you can see, there's quite a bit of data on here, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to wipe it or anything just because I do have important data on here. So it looks like we can do this and resize. I'm not actually going to do it. Um, I can show you how it works, though. This is just in case I accidentally click OK. I don't want to ruin any of my drives that I currently have. But it looks like this is how you kind of resize it. Uh, this is all this right here in this dark blue. This is all the storage that's taken up, it looks like. And this is all the free space. So you've got data recovery format delete. So we could just delete it. Um, that would just wipe all the data on it, and it would completely delete the partition, which means all the data would be gone, so I don't recommend doing that. I've got move or size merge split, so you can merge two drives or merge two partitions that, uh, for whatever reason, they're two partitions. Like, if I were to delete this partition up here, I could probably merge it. We've got split, change cluster size, copy, label, align, explore. I'm not sure what explore does. We'll have to check that out. Hide partition, change letter, convert NTFS to FET, change serial number. That's different change partition id surface test white partition properties let's see what explore does okay so you it, see yeah you can see it's a backup for stuff um that's that's kind of cool we've got copy label all this fun stuff so let's go ahead and try to partition it all right so this is actually how you partition it. i was correct i was just confirming so let's go ahead and just lower it a little bit we're going to have about 228 8, 282 gigs of unpartitioned space it looks like you have to go down here and click apply, which is nice. So it's not doing it instantly because right here it's not done. So if I leave the program and come back, it never actually completed the job. That is a really nice touch because if you accidentally click it, it looks like you're going to have more than one partition. So basically, if I wanted to split up my backup files and my personal files, I could split it in the between from the one terabyte hard drive that this is on. I believe it's on a hard drive. It might be on a solid state. Regardless, um, it's going to work with solid states. It's going to work with spin up drives. This is a really good program, too, if you want to... Uh, basically try to recover data. We can try that. We will do that. Um, I actually didn't know it recovers data, so that is something good and cool. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and click apply. Yes, I shouldn't delete any of my data. So it looks like to unlock all functions, please register your copy of Minitool Partition Wizard. This is something that I 
don't like and like at the same time. Because obviously, you know, they're a company, they got to make money. Um, the problem is, is you should still be able to try out at least, I, I think it should give you at least one partition to, you know, to change the partition at least once. That way you can confirm it works and work the way you like it to. Uh, let me go ahead and activate it and we'll do this. All right, guys, so I went ahead and activated it. Now you can see I have a uh, lifetime upgrade service. Um, I want to thank Minitool for allowing me to look at this program because this is pretty cool. I'm hoping the key is m usable on other platforms because I might throw it on my tech machine at work because this is a, this seems like to be a really good program. So it looks like it did it. Now we have an un unallocated area. Let's go ahead and go into disk management and confirm it did it. I did, look at that. So now it's unallocated. Now we can do a new simple volume through Windows. Obviously, we'd probably just use this program. Now what I want to know is if we can extend it. If we can extend extend so we've got this unallocated okay is it gonna do it okay zero bytes so if we click apply yes and i think it did it updating partition information please wait uh there's still some alloc unallocated area which is interesting so let's go ahead and look at disk management and see what that's about Oh, okay, because they didn't take it all. So now we only have 140. Okay, that's fine. That's pretty cool, though. You can add a cert you can add a small amount of ones and zeros, basically, because that's what data is. You can add a certain amount of data to the drive if you just want to extend it a little bit, but not fully. That is pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and try the data recovery. We'll actually use that new partition. Uh, I think I will have to go in Windows to do it, because I don't know if you can create. Oh, here we go. Uh, test. 2023. We'll just do test. Primary NTFS. Traveler E is okay. We're going to click apply. Yes. I, I actually like how this program's pretty quick. Granted, this is on a one terabyte solid state, which is my backup drive and my data drive. So it, your results may vary. It might be a lot slower on like an older hard, hard drive or a spin-up drive, especially one that's aged. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a data recovery on there. Let's go to the drive. This is the test drive. Uh, I'm just going to make a folder test. Uh, let's make a document. We'll just say important and let's see what this looks like because it looks like you have tabs i gotta wait for it to load but it looks like you have tabs so you can switch between the two and it looks like you have deleted files that's pretty cool i don't know why they'd be from 2017 oh they might actually be able to get files from like the drive that i took it oh okay so it's just searching please wait until full scan finishes okay let's go ahead and stop it this is pretty cool, I won't lie. Let's um let's go ahead and delete those files. Let's see if we can find anything. So this would also help if you deleted a file on your desktop, which I might actually use this because it, it happens. You sometimes delete files and it just happens. So it's not it's not something that doesn't happen a lot. Or it's something that does happen a lot. But you can see all of our files are here, right here. These are lost files apparently. Existing files. These are just dat files and stuff. There's nothing like too bad here we got lost files um raw files there's nothing in there yet so these are our deleted files that we had and look it found our files so i think if we just select them save you can just save them to anywhere on your in your directory in your windows installation which is cool so if you like deleted an important document by accident and somehow recycled your recycling bin or your i don't know your little brother recycled your recycling bin and i don't know how he'd know how to do that but if you did that and you lost your files because you forgot to take them out you could use this program to recover your files. So I think this is a really cool tool and I really think you guys should go check it out. Uh, let's go ahead and check out some of the other tools here. Uh, let's see if we can do, let's do a test on the drive because I think there was one of those buttons I want to do. Uh, disk benchmark, let's go ahead and benchmark. Uh, we'll benchmark, that's my main drive. Let's benchmark this one, I suppose. I don't know where the other one is. Here, let's delete this partition. And we're going to uh, extend all the way. Okay. Why? Yes. We'll just re-extend it. That way it's just the full drive and I don't have to worry about it. It's pretty cool. It's a really quick program. Like I said, it's on a solid state, so your results may vary. But so far, it's doing pretty good. Let's just exit that. All right, let's do disk benchmark. We're going to be doing it on... Oh, can it not see my drive? Yeah, I, I don't know why I can't benchmark that solid state. I I, I wonder if it's just because it's external. Let's benchmark my hard drive, my gaming drive. Let's just see what we get for a result. I'm going to go ahead and let this run. All right, guys, so it looks like the benchmark did complete. Um, as you can see at the bottom here, it says megabytes a second. 
So I'm going to assume higher is better because obviously you want faster speeds, if that makes sense. So we'd have 218 megabytes per second, which is pretty fast, but granted these are only 32 kilo kilobyte files. Up here you can actually change the th uh, file size up to two gigs. Uh, you can also change the length up to four gigs along with the thread mode, which would be sequential, random, and then sequential and random. So you can mix it up a little bit. Uh, this is a really good test if you want to test a hard drive. Um, I personally use HD Tune, but this is a really good way to get good benchmarks. HD Tune tells you more information, unfortunately, and maybe this program could have more information. I don't see anything about checking the hard drive's health. Um, this is a really good way to determine the health because if the number is really high, then you know you still have a good drive, and if it's really low, it's probably time to replace it. Oh, okay, I lied. Um, th this is this is this is a block test. It's testing blocks essentially. Uh, if it has any errors in the block. Um, this could take hours, it could take minutes, depending on if you have a hard drive or solid state. So that's the surface test. Uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of cool buttons here that I really want to click, but unfortunately with the limited resources I have, I don't have a bunch of hard drives to test. Alrighty guys, we are back about, I don't know, two or three days later. So I actually do have a drive that does have some dead sectors that I'm going to show you what the software can do when it detects bad sectors or a bad, just a bad drive in general. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the drive in. Now once it's done updating the partition information, we can go ahead and take a look at the drive. As you can see, we've got PNY USB 3.0 to SATA. That is the adapter I'm using to obviously get the drive. So if we go ahead and right click on it, do a surface test, start now. You can see that the green is good and the red is bad. I'm gonna let this run for a few minutes and we'll see if we can get a bad block. Cause I'm 100% positive this drive has a lot of dead blocks on it. And as you can see, we're actually doing this at about 133 megabytes a minute, which isn't slow, but also not fast, seeming how this is a solid state, which I forgot to add. As you guys can see, the speed is starting to speed up. It was about a, a 500 megabits a minute, and now it's going up to almost a gigabyte a minute. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Um, I'm going to assume the partitions it was scanning when it was going at like, I don't know, 112 to 115 megabytes a minute was because those sectors were either failing or have already failed. And for some reason, it didn't count for the fact that those have failed. I'm not really sure. Although I am colorblind as well, so they could just be red and now they're definitely green. So this is a good use case for it. So if you have a drive that just seems to be functioning weird, um, or if you work in IT like I do, it's good to have a program like this so that you can test to see which par uh, sectors are dead and which aren't. That way you can inform the customer that the drive needs to be replaced, which I do believe this drive does need to be needed to be replaced because I already replaced it for the customer. So that is a good use case scenario for this uh, software. All right, guys, so that's the surface test. That's what I wanted to show you, but I do want to quickly show you how the software performs at deleting data and wiping drives. So let's go ahead and delete this partition. We're going to delete this one. Now, all the partitions are deleted. You can do this in Windows when you install Windows, but it'd be a lot quicker to do it in a program. So if I have a drive that I just want to wipe to use for data and there's multiple partitions, you can't delete the partition sometimes using disk management in Windows. I don't know why that is the case, but that just seems to be the case. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already deleted all the partitions. Now all we gotta do is click apply. What this is going to do is this is going to completely wipe the drive. The data would probably still be recoverable and we could do that as a test, but I think that's okay. I already know. See, it, it didn't take that long. So what it did was it just quickly deleted everything. So we can rewrite over that. Now it's showing that the data isn't there, but it still is in some terms. A lot of the data probably is actually gone. However, doing this allows us to uh, put more data on there and write over the ones and zeros that were already wiped over for the supposed data wipe. But that is Mini Tool Partition Wizard Pro uh, Ultimate 12.8. That's the version at the time of the recording of this video. If you guys want to check out the software, check the link in the description below. Go ahead and get you a copy uh, just because this program is, this is an amazing program and I definitely recommend you guys check it out. Uh, there is a free version. If you guys want to check that out, you can as well if you want to determine if you want to buy it or not. You can check out their website in the description below as well. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Drop a like if you guys thought the video was awesome. Drop a dislike if you thought it was, I don't know, you don't like it for whatever reason, but whatever. It's not like I can see how many likes there are anyway, thanks to YouTube, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys wanna see for future videos in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next video and peace out.